hi there folks Andrea Cox here from my love room I wanted to do a quick video uh, for all of you about developing lifelong friendships and this video actually it came on my heart to do the other day when I ran into my dear friend Mariana uh, we actually met she needed her nails done I didn't so I sat uh, next to her in a in a nail salon non-toxic of course while she got her nails done and The thing of it is I met Mariana before I moved to California when I was on a trip in California and She she lives in Rancho Santa Fe and about a few miles away from my house and Then I went home and she was one of the deciding factors that made me move to California I was actually brought out by a raw food company, but she was really, she had a lot of impact just over the phone on you belong here, you belong here, come here, let's go play, she always said. And although she travels, she travels all around the world with her husband, so she's not here very often and she has a house somewhere else, we just seen her the other day and we hadn't seen each other in four months. And the last time she saw me, I was going through such a terrible time. I was 10 pounds lighter. I was going through a really hard time in my life. And she came over and spent the day with me and listened to me cry. And uh, wow. So seeing her the other day and her embracing me and us having a lovely conversation and then giving each other a big hug and kiss made me realize that when I am 75 years old, I'm going to be meeting Mariana at the nail salon. I really love that woman and she loves me. And I have this type of relationship with a few women in my life. Um, my friend Connie back home that I haven't seen, she's come to see me once out here. I haven't seen her in uh, over a year. So Connie, I just have such a great relationship with her. And there's a few other people in my life that I've really developed these lifelong friendships with. And I wanted to share this with you today because I think women and men are different. I think men bond in a different way. Men can go and have a beer and say two words to each other and call themselves their best friends. They are like, they are tight. Women are different. Women need to talk. They need to get stuff off their chest. And so women, I mean, we spill the beans to each other. And so I think it's different, but I think whether you're a man or a woman, to develop these amazing friendships of people um, with people in your life that you will carry over a decade or the rest of your life is really important to know that there's someone out there than understand you. I, I also feel this way about my cameraman that's sitting a foot away because he gets me. And even though he was late today, I, I feel like, you know, there's no way I could ever have someone else film me because no one else brings out that truth and that realness in me like my cameraman, Eric. So that's just another example. And I, on the flip side of that, I recently had a friendship end with um, a lovely gal that, that I met a couple months back and adore her. But it was funny to be face to face with someone that kind of showed me what I need to work on in my own personal relationships with others. I just literally felt like I was giving and getting nothing in return. And to be faced with that, that'll end a friendship with me really quickly. Um, you know, and also I learned something about myself. So, and I think often in times, and I've said it in several other videos, and if I haven't, here it is, in life, we are faced with people that are our mirror image to change the things that we need to change in ourselves. So... I just wanted to do this quick video for you. I've got a little allergy thing going on today, so I hope you can understand me. And if you like this video, 
hit the like button and definitely share your story below. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I give you a, a video every day, sometimes two a day, if you will.